Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, lonely delusions. Uh, lonely delusions, or yeah, somebody who is deluded, somebody who is deceived, who is working in deception. Uh, lonely delusions. And um, I'm still in the story of Elijah, if you remember. The Bible said when he... I mean, uh, he had prayed on fire in 1 Kings chapter 18 and 1 Kings chapter 19. Jezebel rose up against it. And the cry and the voice of Jezebel forced Elijah into a state of despondency that is unbelievable. And it also forced him to begin to compare himself to fathers who had not done half what he had done. He had to compare himself to Job, compare himself to Samuel praying down fire. No, not at all, not at all. I mean, he compared himself to the fathers. And I began to say, which of them prayed down fire from heaven? No, not at all. And Elijah then made another thing that op made my eyes pop up like, wow. Finally, when God confronted him, when God said to Elijah, okay, come, let's talk. Look at Elijah's language in 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 10. He said to God, I, I have been zealous for you. I have done things for you, O God. Then he said to him, and I'm the only one left. I'm the only one left. I'm the only person standing. There's nobody else like me. Now, I saw something things, and I characterized Elijah's state as a state of despondency, a state of despair, a state of de depression, and a state of discouragement. So he was in all these four Ds for me. They could be the same, but I choose to separate them for various reasons. He was in despair. He was in discouragement. He was, uh, he was discouraged. He was in despondency. He was depressed. Now, now, the, the Bible then said something that he said to God, I am the only person left. There's nobody. Do you know that sometimes when we are faced with certain storms, you, you begin to sing the I alone, I and I. I'm alone. Nobody else is going through. Nobody else is, uh, sees what I see. I'm the only person. And you begin to force yourself into some lonely delusions that you are the only person. And you'll be very surprised. That sometimes we carry this thing out that nobody else is going through what you're going through. Well, look at what God said. God's response was that, hey, Elijah, I have 7,000 prophets. That means I have 7,000 people who are also in the same situation. I have 7,000 people who have not bowed their knees to, to, to Baal. I have 7,000 people. I have people that you don't know about. I have a, a, a crowd. I have a crowd. I have people in, in the waiting who may not be vocal, who may not go and stand in Mount Carmel, but I can use them to do exactly what you have done. So you are not the only person. So you are not in, in, in indispensable. You are not the only person. Without you, nothing can go on. That is a stark reality. And therefore, we assume that role. And this is where we have a mistake. Oh, this is where we live in a mistake. We live in the bubble of a mistake that you are alone. Elijah's lonely delusion forced a stark reality to hit him, right in between the eye. God said, I have 7,000 who are also pure. 7,000 who are also standing. 7,000 who are also raising prayer. 7,000 who I'm ready to promote. So the, you, the probability of you, uh, f and in the midst of all this, is one over 7,000, and I chose you. So don't think you're irreplaceable. Don't think you're indispensable. These kind of lonely delusions forces us to make certain statements and causes us to have a particular attitude. And that attitude becomes obnoxious to God and intolerable for other people around us, people who love us. We begin to give us some pungent effusions. I don't mean I don't, uh, uh, physical, but negative. That's what Elijah said. I alone. Lonely delusions. Be careful what you do. When you walk in these valleys, despair, despondency, discouragement, and depression, be careful what you do. And don't walk in lonely delusions. The choice is yours.